Welcome back to Let's Play Rygar. This is RPG Bros. I am Justin. And I'm Sean. We just got done with the Rogos Palace, which of course would be level 4 in the game. However, we decided to beat it because we were in the southwest corner of Argul and we didn't want to come back to the defiled cesspit. Yes, so, we wanted to fix the wrongs. Yes. Before we left this corner. Right. So now we're actually heading to level 3 proper, which is Lapis. Kind of a nice name for a level. It's a cool level, you know, actually it's one of my favorite levels. I think it's got um, the best game design. Yeah. You have these floating platforms, and it's just really cool to look at. Yeah, it's true. I agree. The master of Lapis is Belzar. He is an evil, two-eyed creature that spits flame saws at you. Um, yeah, quite a bubble. And then, of course, there's the super robot Bagons, which are our Bongons. Bargains. <laughs> yeah, it looks Bagons. like it's just Bargain. Yeah, it does look like Super it's Robot Bargains. Bargain, yeah, like. it does look like Super Robot Bargain. It's B A R G A N, so bar Bargain. Yeah, Bargain. Or Bargain. So, yeah, the thing is, so when we were kids, we always used to level up all the way on the Super Robots because that was the spot that we thought was the best place, as we demonstrated in uh, the Rogo's Palace, that isn't necessarily the best place to level up. But in my opinion, it's actually a better place to level up because the music's better, um, the gameplay is funner, the layout and the design, it's just a better place to hang out in my opinion. Plus, it's kind of nice to split things up. So we'll do a little bit of farming. Uh, but yeah, so what we started doing, instead of just doing everything all at the same place, whether it's the super robots or the other enemies, it's 2 a.m. and time for the monsters to awaken. I think he's talking about a party that he wants to make. I don't understand what the hell he's talking about. Like, look at how light it is in Argul. What? I just don't get it. Like, he's Endura's servant, I get it, he's probably tired, you know, all of our goals have been defiled. Um, but I don't understand, I guess, would be a mild way to put it. Um, I think he wants to party. You think he wants to party? Maybe it's just 2 a.m. to him always. And it's time for the monsters to awaken. Right. We're just crazy. I don't even know it's crazy. I mean, oh, there you are, look at this. It's like, oh, there is an enemy, I think I'll run into it. Hey, there's another one! I'm gonna run into that one, too! <laughs> yeah, well... This is great! So here we are in Lapis, the treacherously defiled floating continent castle place. I don't know what it is about this game in the finally, but this feels like all of our goals have been defiled. Oh, it certainly has. You need the grappling to continue past Lapis. So it's kind of weird because it says, some say get past Lapis. Okay, so where is it that I'm getting... We're in Lapis. Yeah, the enemy at the end is not called Lapis. And it's misleading because in all of the other levels, when it has the quotation, it's the enemy. From this point, you can't go on without crossbow. Oh my, so informative. Need the grappling and the crossbow, do I? Mm. Wow. No. The grappling and crossbow. So I just love this crossbowing, you know, shooting your little cord and getting down there on the on the on the pulley and you know, it just utilize, utilizes all the tools at Rygar's disposal. And you know, he only gets three tools, but boy, they are mighty. Fight! 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 He's very informative as well. I think they kind of went cheap on the commentary in this level. We have plenty of doors though, I mean, compared to the other levels. It has know? the most doors, because it used to be like, it's an old place where people used to live, probably. And then, of course, you have the crappy commentary. It's just a, it's very oxymoronic to, you know, to me. Well, I think it's great. Yeah? Kind of have a little community still, and we're trying to help. Oh, I like that. I think that's all good. You know, I mean, you know, perhaps they're not the most talkative. But they do what they can. Keep going that way! <laughs> That's what it should say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be just as effective. It would be better. 
<laughs> you just keep going forward, you get there soon! Whoa, thankful, man, alright. Yeah, so you can see now, I mean... Please go down from here, Lapis awaits you! Well, so wait, is, is the character actually named Lapis and they just have it misnamed in the, in, in the guide? I mean, it's not actually Belzar, it's Lapis. So that's what they're doing, they're doing the quotation thing. What were you going to say about before a, a win? Oh, I was going to say, I mean, you can see, we're just starting to punish all these enemies. And, I mean, to get the next two bloods, it's hardly going to take anything. <clears throat> so you get a lot of points from the robots, but you get a lot more stars and uh, vials of life from the rolly guy. And this is also just kind of a fun place to level up. I mean, it's faster to level up in uh, Drogo's Palace the way that Sean was demonstrating it during our last Let's Play. But, I don't know, this is... We've kind of come to the point where we... There's a bunch of different fun places to level up, and we kind of want to do a little bit of each, because it kind of breaks up the gameplay. And makes it, you know, fun. Yeah, and, you know, all these enemies, they deserve to get punished. Yeah, that's true. Super Mega Robots, notwithstanding. <clears throat> Super Mega Robot Gar uh, Bargain! They are bargain. The points for the, uh, for the price? That's true. Come on down, get some points. Soothing thing, you know, just pwning these robots. Well, it's nice music. I mean, the other places like the the music is so crummy. It's true. It's not fun. It's just, it could be better. I skipped out on that level. Hit a deadline. These are the best of whatever crappy songs they have made. <laughs> Pretty much. <clears throat> it's pretty funny. I don't know, that song is so bad. They didn't even try. Yeah. Alright, well, this is good. Oh, there we go. Alright. Got all the bloods now. So here's Balzar. You see, he looks kind of like a tree stump with a face on it, with two like weird eyes. He's a weird dude. You see that nose? Look at that nose. Is that a wow, he is. I pwned that guy. All right, well that's the end of level three in Rygar. Thanks so much for watching. This is RPG Bros. Signing off. Until next time. Wait a minute. Oh great warrior. I'll also give you. Keep those buttons moving and have a great day.